Hey guys, this is Tony here with Salt Strong, and in this video, we're going to be talking about what types of hooks you should be using if you're targeting redfish using cut bait or live bait. Now, there are a few mistakes people make when it comes to choosing hooks. First off, they think they need to match the hook size to the size of the fish they're going after, which is actually completely wrong. What you should be doing is matching your hook size to your bait, because if you're using too big of a hook with too small of a bait, especially with live bait, you're going to weigh that bait down, it's not going to swim naturally, and you're gonna have some issues there keeping your bait alive as well. So definitely match the hook size to the bait. What I usually tell people to do is match the size to the size of the bait in inches. So let's say you have a five inch bait. I would go with a four to a five aught circle hook or J hook. And we'll talk about, you know, J hooks versus circle hooks here in a minute, but you know, match the size of the hook as far as the number goes to the length of the bait. And anything under, you know, three inch size baits, I would go with a three aught at the largest and then work your, work your way down to a two aught, even a one aught. I've seen some really big fish but, uh, get caught on one aught circle hooks and one aught J hooks. So they're plenty strong, just make sure you get those uh, thicker wire hooks, uh, thicker gauge, which means the thickness of the metal of the hook is going to be thicker, so it's more uh, durable and stronger. Now aside from the size of the hook, the style of the hook is going to be a factor as well. As you can see, I have four different styles of hooks here. Uh, they may all look pretty similar, but there are some differences that are going to actually make a big difference when it comes to uh, catching fish as far as, you know, where you're going to hook those fish. Uh, depending on what type of fishing you're doing, that's also going to determine what type of hook to use. So first off, probably one of the worst hooks to use if you're doing catch and release. Uh, but probably one of the best hooks to use if you're trying to keep fish is going to be a kale style hook. Now, as you can see, the point on this hook faces directly towards the eye, and it's also offset, which means the point of the hook is offset to the shank of the hook, which means it's kind of offset there. So what this is going, what this is going to do is anywhere that hook point touches, it's going to hook that fish. So if the fish, you know, swallows the bait pretty deep, it's going to hook that fish pretty deep, possibly uh, deep into, into the throat, which is not good for the fish, especially if you're doing catch and release. So if you're targeting fish, you know, you're on fish that you know you can keep, uh, you know, this could be the best option. But from a conservation uh, standpoint, these kale hooks, very bad uh, if you're using live bait or cut bait for redfish. Now the next type of hook is going to be a J hook. These are going to be more suited if you, you are actively fishing a live bait or a cut bait because with J hooks, as soon as you feel the strike, you know, you let the fish run a little bit, but not too long, and then you set the hook. If you are using J hooks and you're setting your rods in the rod holder, you may find that you are uh, hooking a lot of fish deep because they have too much time to take that bait and run off by the time you grab the rod and set the hook. So, J hooks. These are going to be more suited if you are actively fishing your bait. You know, you have your rod in your hand, your feeding line, you're waiting for that strike, and then you can set the hook quickly. That's when you would use a J hook. But again, J hooks definitely run the risk of, you know, gut hooking a fish or hooking them deep into the throat, where that can be, you know, bad for the fish, especially if you plan on releasing them. So again, not my preferred uh, style of hook, but again, if you are fishing actively, this could be the way to go. That way you can set the hook, especially if you're using really thick baits, uh, live bait or dead bait that are very thick and you need to set the hook to pull that hook through the bait and properly hook the fish. And then next up we have our circle hooks. This is a big debate here, you know, what type of circle hooks you should be using. And again, it goes back to the style of fishing you're doing. If you are actively fishing your live or cut bait, or if you're just casting it out, setting it in the rod holder. So first up, we have a circle hook that is offset. And what that means is you will notice the point of the hook is offset to the shank of the hook. You can see it's sort of bent there. It's not in line. And what these are going to allow for are, you know, more of a hookup ratio because again, with that offset point, it can hook the fish pretty much anywhere 
but you have a better chance of hooking that fish around the lip as opposed to, you know, deeper in the, in the throat and, you know, like gut hooking that fish. So these, again, would be more intended if you are actively fishing your live or cut bait, but you don't have to set the hook. You could let that fish run, put pressure on, the, on your spool, you know, tighten your drag down a little bit and let that fish hook itself. And then we have a true inline hook. True inline hook means, first off, the point of the hook is in line with the shank of the hook. You can see there's no bend there, like with the offset uh, circle hook that I just showed you. And also the point of the hook is facing directly back towards the shank of the hook at 90 degrees. So that is a true circle hook right there. And the best time to use a true hook uh, circle hook is if you are possibly fishing with newer people that don't know how to set the hook, they don't know when to set the hook, uh, especially you know with uh, circle hooks, you don't have to set the hook, you just apply pressure and let the fish hook itself. You can use this when you are setting the rod in the rod holder and you basically let the fish just take the bait and hook itself. This is the best way to go with a true inline circle hook, that way the fish doesn't get hooked in the gut or you know deeper in the throat deeper in the mouth where it can be harder to get that hook out and also be bad for the fish especially if you're not keeping them also in some states depending on your state your region you may have to use inline circle hooks you know some states have regulations where you can't use offset hooks you can't use j hooks for certain species so definitely check your regulations to see if you do have to use true inline circle hooks now, in case you are wondering, we do sell pretty much all these hooks on our shop page. So you can pick some up if you are in need of some circle hooks, J hooks, whatever you may need for uh, your live and cut bait fishing. Also, if you need some smaller hooks to actually catch some live bait, we do sell them on our shop page as well. And you can check that out at fishstrong.com. And keep in mind, if you are one of our insider members, you do get a discount on all tackle and gear. On the shop page so definitely be sure to take advantage of that so that will wrap up this video if you have any questions or comments about this or any additional tips you would like to share when it comes to what types of hooks you should be using when using cut or live bait when targeting redfish definitely drop them in the comments down below if you're new to salt strong just know we're the number one online fishing club because we actually guarantee that you'll start catching more inshore fish not only with tips and in-depth courses but also with our new smart fishing spots app that actually tells you exactly where to fish, when to fish there, plus so much more. You also save tons of money with tackle discounts and network with tons of anglers in your area in the insider community. So thanks again for watching and we hope to see you in the insider community soon.